You better love yourself. You better love. You better, you better love yourself. You better love. You better love yourself. like the material and welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel i make videos all about health beauty and fashion if you're not new to my channel thanks for coming back so today i wanted to share with you guys a little bit about what i do as a healthcare professional but before i get into that i wanted to show you guys this white coat that i got from fig so thank you fig so much for gifting this white coat to me it's super cute so here it is it is their white aurora lab coat in a size medium because i'm a medium type of girl it's so cute and on their tag it says for every set of scrubs sold figs gives a set to a healthcare provider in need that's so sweet but yeah, here's the white coat. Super, super white, guys. Super white. And I really like it. I'll try it on. Ooh. It's very comfortable. It's very comfortable. It has, um, I don't know what this material is, but it's very com comfortable lining. So it's not hot on. Ooh, very breathable. It kind of gives me like a cooling effect, actually. So it does have pockets on the top and then in the bottom. Oh, let me move this out of the way. In the bottom, and then it also has pockets on the inside so you can hide some stuff. And it goes down to just like in the middle of my knee. So I'm 5'3. Super cute. And it has buttons. So I'm able to button it. And it's not tight on my behind, even when I button it. So I like that. And then it has a collar, but not like that flippy thing. I don't know what it's called, but th there's like no, you guys see, there's no like extra material that flips over. But it does still have these little pleat things here, which I think is super cute. So yeah, this is so cute, so cute. So you can get it embroidered as well on their website, but I didn't. It's just plain and here's the arms. So cute. Okay guys, so I wanted to share with you all a little bit about what I do as a healthcare professional. So I am a clinical assistant professor with the School of Pharmacy. So that means I do didactic lecturing, for student pharmacists who are pursuing their doctor of pharmacy degree. And didactic lecturing is basically when students go to a classroom and they listen to a professor and the professor is me. <laughs> so I also bring the students to my practice site, which is within the healthcare system. So I work at a general internal medicine clinic where I also serve as faculty member for the a medical university and I aid in the learning of medical residents as they rotate through the general internal medicine clinic. So there I actually do not work within a pharmacy. I actually work within a team of clinical pharmacists and we do chronic disease state management. So that's basically um, we help manage patients who have chronic diseases that will typically last their lifetime, such as hypertension, which is high blood pressure, um, hyperlipidemia, which is high cholesterol, and diabetes. And so there we work off of a CDTM agreement, which is Collaborative Drug Therapy Management, or some people may refer to it as a Collaborative Practice Agreement or a CPA. And there we, we are able to care for our patients and we can do things such as prescribing and also um, ordering labs and other things that we need to do to provide optimal care for our patients. 
So what I really enjoy about my clinic is my patient population. So I kind of um, built my career, well, not kind of, I did. I built my career off of caring for patients who are underserved, uninsured, low income, refugees, um, and patients who look like me, because I knew in these patient populations, there's several health disparities and I wanted to do something about that. So that's why I really enjoy my clinic because I'm able to provide uh, for those, that patient population. So to do what I do, I went through a lot of training. So in the United States, you have to have your doctor of pharmacy to be a pharmacist. So what I did is I did four years of undergraduate learning. <laughs> so I got my bachelor's in biology with an emphasis in chemistry. And then I did four years of pharmacy school. And after that, I did residency training. So for a majority of the clinical pharmacy or pharmacist positions out there, you need postgraduate training. So what I did was I did one year of community-based training. So my, my first year of residency, because I really wanted to focus on the outpatient setting. And then my second year of, um, Residency, train, residency training was in ambulatory care because again, I wanted to focus in the outpatient setting. So yeah, that's how I got my position. And as for my position in academia, I got um, two teaching certificates while during re my residency training. And I did a lot of, um, well, I participated in a lot of teaching opportunities. So I had more experience when I went ahead and applied for academic positions. So yeah, so why did I do pharmacy? <laughs> so I kind of have a long answer, but then a short answer as well. So I always knew that I wanted to go in healthcare because I really enjoy math, I really enjoy science, and I really wanted to help people, you know? So that's why um, I wanted to go into healthcare. But what really fascinated me about pharmacy is that um, basically the focusing on drugs. I think it's so fascinating how you can take a medicine and combine to a receptor and um, alters things in your body. I think, I think it's just so fascinating and I still do. So I really enjoy knowing about the mechanism of actions of drugs and the, the pharmacokinetics and things like that. But during undergrad, I never knew about pharmacy until someone I went to pharmacy, excuse me, undergrad with, she said that her mom was a pharmacist and she was applying to pharmacy school. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe that's something for me. Because I knew they knew about they um, knew about drugs, and I was really interested in drugs and chemistry and receptors and things like that. But what really secured my decision to pursue pharmacy was when I went home for a holiday, and my uncle was saying that he actually was being cared for by a pharmacist for his diabetes. And I was like, "What do you mean?" He says, "Well, I go to a doctor's office and I see a pharmacist," and I was. I didn't know that pharmacists were actually in doctor's offices, but yes, they are. <laughs> and he was saying how this pharmacist really helped him get his blood sugars under control and also helped him lose a ton of weight. And just, he wasn't all around just in good spirits. And I felt like that was something that I wanted to do. I wanted people to not only be healthy but to be well to feel well to feel good about themselves to take control of their own health and but also you know making sure that i got that experience of knowing why drugs work and you know um being able to apply my knowledge of science and math and i feel like as a pharmacist i'm able to do all of that in one so that's why i decided to pursue pharmacy and i believe I made the best decision. I really enjoy what I do. I enjoy the people that I work with, my patient population that I care for. Um, and it's, it's very fulfilling to me. So yeah, that's my little story of why I chose pharmacy and how I obtained this position that I have. 
and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching my other videos if you like this video please like it uh, comment down below if you want more videos like this or if you have any questions about pharmacy I'll try my best to answer it below or make another video and thanks again to Fix who gifted me this lab coat. I actually made, well did a try on haul um, for their scrubs. So make sure you watch that video as well because I love their scrubs. They're so comfortable, just like this white coat. So yeah, thank you again. I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace and love.